The unique recipes sold in the shop are developed here at Chantal's factory. And Atul gets a lesson in making chocolate mousse using the rare Manjari chocolate. So we're going to use our chocolate. I think I'm going to let you do this, actually. OK. Pieces of butter. Just drop them in yep. and then just um, mix it. Egg yolks and egg whites. Okay. Gently whisk those in. So how long you will take to set this? Probably about an hour, I should think, in okay. the fridge. A top-class mousse like this deserves a handmade dish. OK, so this is our magic chocolate fountain. OK. It's just a little balloon, just blown up, and we'll leave it for a minute before we put it in the fridge. OK. Oops. These are really nice containers to serve mousse in. Mm. And the verdict? Mm. This is fantastic. Very light, melts in your mouth. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me here. <laughs> Not at all. So you just got the, your melted chocolate there? Right? Melted okay, chocolate. Yeah. I have added first lot of cream because I like to divide my cream in two lots. First lot to fold in well and the second lot to just make it a little lighter. And I've added a bit of coin to it. Oh, nice. That, that works well with chocolate. A sprinkling of pistachio nuts completes the dish, and now it just needs to be chilled. On the other side of the counter, Gary's starting on his Kentish apple mousse with toasted honey syrup apples. Run through what, you've got, what you're going to do. Right, there's three main components. We have the, the nice almond base, right. okay, an almond sponge base. Then I'm going to top that with the apple mousse and then with a nice apple jelly that's made with sweet white wine. But in the mousse itself, there are quite a few components just to that, because you're looking at, you know, the, the apple puree, a uh, sabayon, so just looking at some egg yolk and sugar mix. Oh, yeah. It's almost like making a custard, but without milk or, or cream, I'm making it with apple juice, and then an Italian meringue goes into oh, it, and then goodness. whipped cream goes into oh, it. My so you've got four main components purely for the mousse. So it's just like a good old-fashioned slice of uh, apple ghetto. So it looks as though both chefs have opted for complex puddings. And Gary begins his by making almond sponge. Almonds, flour, sugar, butter and eggs are blended together in a food processor before being poured into a cake tin and baked for 10 minutes. The next thing I want to do, I've got some apples. Now you'll notice that I've prepared these just making up some nice wedges of... They're all the same shape. I can't believe it. How long did, how long did it take? <laughs> And would now, it, would it drive just... you mad if, they, if, if one was just slightly different? Oh, Kentish, well done, yes. Kentish cider, Very you see, good. it's so, so important. I did expect that to be slightly richer than that in its colour, but Gosh. all the same. Have you tasted oh, it? Oh, that's fabulous. Yes, it's, it's, it's got a sweet edge to it, but it's still quite sharp, which is nice, because I, I don't want everything to be over, you know, sort of syrupy. So oh. you notice I'm just popping in the... I want to bring that actually quickly to the boil. That'll take just a few seconds. Then I'll be dropping the apples in few minutes, literally, not boiling them. You must never really reboil them. Okay. And then from that, once these have been poached, of course, they'll have picked up extra apple flavour. That is when we have introduction of lovely honey. Wow. So and that's also local? This is local, yes, it is, from the southeast. It's absolutely wonderful. And smells absolutely delicious as well. It's got sort mm. of a perfume about mm. it. And now we're going to just add the apple pieces. And you track down the honey yourself? Well, yes, I mean, I'd heard about this and I thought, got to go and see, got to go and have a look.